beauty like that with some brains to match Why wouldn't I wanna tell the world about ya, about ya, about ya Why wouldn't I wanna tell the world Alright you guys, so I got some bad news for you guys. Um that was fine, she's in the back, but I got some bad news for you guys. Well we do. We had a hospital visit today and everything, you know, it was it was a good visit. We just got some bad news that we really didn't want to hear. What's good you guys welcome back to the vlog well welcome to the vlog glad to see you came to see your favorite people back in action today we have a 36 week appointment this is going to be the last week before we start doing the once a week appointments um next week that'll start but this one's just a checkup she's got to get some swabbing done uh so that's a little exam that's something new but um we're just gonna go in here and see what they have for us so okay so she just had a good um, blood pressure. He's poking out. Okay, We're at the hospital's good. office. I said office, but um, that's what we're doing right now. And um, they just checked her and everything, and everything was okay. I asked her if she's having Braxton Hicks contractions or real spotting contractions, any spotting or bleeding, but no, she hasn't been having any of that. So that's all good. Um, she has to have a stress test done today. She's also getting a that's swabbed. Swab. I think that's the swab. Oh, that's oh. Yeah. I knew yeah. that. Don't be pooping on this. It's not for poop. My, my butt's so big that my cheeks don't spray no more. <laughs> they don't spray it. What did you try to say? Well, down. Oh my <laughs> lord. I'm kidding. I want to know how much he weighs. Yeah, we can ask and see if they know by any chance or can feel around and have an estimate at least to how much he weighs. What do you think he weighs? If they can, what, what do you think he weighs? Probably like five pounds already. Five pounds? I'm going to get, what's your exact answer? Four but pounds and, and, and 13 ounces. Four pounds and 13 ounces? Yeah. What? No. Is he supposed to be five pounds right? Yeah. Okay, I think he's supposed pounds. to be five pounds at 35 weeks. Five pounds, two ounces. Five pounds and 5.45. You're annoying. That's, that's how much I feel like he is. No, 5.37. I don't think he's going to be a big guy. Yeah, he's 5.37 pounds in my head, I think. So we cannot wait to find out if she is dilated, if she isn't, um, how much he weighs. She said, how much you think he weighs? 5.2. 5.2? Yeah. I say 5.37. 5. 5. Because he, he got that muscle in him. Like his daddy. Yeah. His yeah. daddy is really small. That little, that little roll reminds huh? me of like the A-Rap raps. You, you know said what? I mean? what? The roll of that mask, how you have it up. What's wrong with my, it's not a, it's a hat. Yeah, it is, pull it down. It's a hat. It's not. It's a hat. It's a mask. Why is there a hole in it? Because there's a hole in it. There's a couple holes, there's one right there, and when you did this. So, but hole. I got shot. No, you didn't. Don't say that. <laughs> Always hating on me. It's just to keep my, uh, my head warm at the top, and then my dreads keep my ears warm. It's comfortable, to be honest. It really is. He is getting so big, you guys. Like, just look at him. 36 weeks tomorrow. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. See you wearing your little ring over there. Okay, I see you. Yeah, my fingers went freaking swollen. swollen today. Yesterday, I thought I was going to cut my circulation off. Big boy. Technique or method where you can accurately guess that, but around 36 weeks tomorrow, so roughly around this time, you're looking at around close to five, five and a half at the most. Good. 
like you can almost see him. Really? From the side almost. Yeah. He's so big. It's like there's a bulge in your stomach now it too. Is. No, not too big. This is actually about right to like about a centimeter or less, which is good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't want them to be measuring too big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she is not. Again, being the first kid, being skinny enough, you still can hide the kid pretty good. Okay, let me just leg up. What's going on? This is the Q-tip, which is going to go into the vaginal area and then around your behind. Okay. <laughs> you know what happened was we had to get a swab swabbing done today that's just a swab of her private area and her like booty area and they swab that for any bacteria that can be transferred to you know the baby during the birth process we didn't get our results back for that but that wasn't the problem of you know the situation here um, but that was the faces that you guys seen. He was also making some of those faces while he was checking for dilation or, you know, the cervix. And basically what that is, he put three fingers, I guess she told me, up her, like, bodily part. And he had to check for her and see if the cervix was opened, if he could feel the cervix opening, or if it was just not open at all. But he put three fingers up her like bodily area and when he did that she was saying like it was hurting she didn't like it and after that she was even like you know I'm not giving birth basically after all of that happened he talked to us and everything he came back in and after he did the cervix testing that he did with his hand that Chanel didn't like um, he told us that sad to say he won't be coming soon as I you know thought or portrayed but he will be coming very <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. He said he won't let us go past, you know, the 22nd, that Sunday, because he will be on call there. So we'll be at our hospital that we're delivering at 18th through the 22nd. Like I said, you guys, his due day is April 18th, and he will probably be making his debut, if not earlier, probably on the 18th to the 22nd, 23rd type stuff of April obviously 2018 so that's when our baby boy will be here if he doesn't make a surprise debut before he's not gonna let him go you know too over date but he's gonna be on call at our hospital on the 18th through the 22nd so april 22nd is the latest that he will be here unless he drops early and he opens that cervix because the cervix as he told us is not open very much if at all so he's just taking his time he just said we still need a lot of rest and like preparation kind of you know just rest and all that but we're not far enough along i guess to really be doing the stress ball bouncing and all the walking and all of that stuff so yeah, he will be coming soon but not too long we only have about four more weeks left anyways guys that's not too bad it's not too bad it's only about a month that's what he told us now we have our 37 week appointment next week and we go to the doctors every week now so with that to the side everything else is okay um he's still moving he asked her if she had any spotting or anything like that any real contractions but no she hasn't yet she's just been having braxton hicks so just pray for kj everything's okay um he's just taking his time just pray that we have a good birth pray that we have you know good weeks up until the birth you know everything is going okay but we're just really excited and ready for him i love you guys if you haven't yet be sure to check out her my water boat prank on me in public that was a great prank so go check that out the link to that is in the description box below be sure to go check out both of our what's in our hospital bags i'm gonna put both of those links down below be sure to hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of our new videos be sure to be watching our recent videos follow all of our social media which is right here we love you guys and yeah 18th to the 22nd and we waiting for you